Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's me, Ronke, and I just wanted to discuss. I know a lot of people talk about how they want to eat more fruits and vegetables, more produce in the diet, but the truth is, it's really hard if you think about it. Like, if you're not used to eating fruits and vegetables or produce in your diet, it's kind of hard to get used to it because you have to kind of develop the taste for it. I would say I'm the type of person that likes to eat healthy and it's not like something that happened for me overnight. It's something that I, you know, gradually developed into and now it's just part of my lifestyle. And for me at this point in my life, I feel like it's something that's easy for me to do. So I just wanted to share some pointers with you guys, some ways that if you're not used to eating fruits and vegetables, if they're not like your favorite thing to eat, you know, these are just some simple ideas that I came up with that could possibly help somebody else out, out there. If you're interested in knowing ways to in increase the amount of fruits and vegetables that you eat in your diet, so keep watching this video. So number one, like for me, how I got started was I made it a point to always eat a huge bowl of salad. You know, you can try to incorporate eating a huge bowl of salad every day, every day into your diet. You can eat it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. That was my thing. That was how I kind of got started into eating more fruits and vegetables. I told myself that every day, regardless of what I'm eating, I would always eat a huge bowl of salad. Eat a huge bowl. I'm not talking about like a little baby bowl. I'm talking about a huge bowl that can actually fill you up. Always eat a salad a day, no matter what. Another thing that you can also do is smoothies. Get your favorite vegetables, get your favorite fruits, put it in a blender, and bam, that's a meal right there. You can eat that for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can start out slow by getting like sweet fruits, you know, apples, pineapples and then slowly incorporate vegetables because they have a lot of minerals in it so get your vegetables get your lettuce get your kale you know all types of vegetables get them and slowly add vegetables don't try to like go heavy all at once don't try to like put like five vegetables and one fruit because it's not really going to taste good and like i said it's something that you have to build towards too so if you start out kind of sweet and then slowly you add more vegetables slowly your taste buds and your system is just going to get used to eating vegetables and that's how you're going to incorporate more vegetables and slowly you're just going to it's going to be like second nature like you're just going to pick up the fruit and vegetable and bam it's in your diet and bam you're increasing the amount of fruits and vegetables that you're eating another thing that you can also do is juicing you can start juicing your own fresh fruits and vegetables and that is so nutritious for the body because you juice it and you ingest it and it just like quickly absorbs into your system you know slowly incorporate juicing into your daily routine regimen another thing that you can also do that i do currently is the home grocery delivery service so if you can't if you know that you can't get to the grocery store you can do the home grocery delivery system and you can order as big of a box that you want or a little box it all depends on how much money you want to spend I actually went online and found like an organic home grocery delivery service that delivers fruits and vegetables to your house I told myself that I wanted to increase my organic um, produce intake and let me tell you it's like the best investment that I've ever done for myself let me tell you that I know it's the best investment that I've ever done for myself and it's hard for me sometimes I get busy and it's so hard for me to go to the grocery store you know if I do the home grocery delivery at least I'm getting all the fruits and vegetables that I need another thing that you can get into the habit of doing this or buy a bunch of fruits and vegetables, rinse it out. You can put it in Ziploc bags and freeze it. Sometimes I'll go out, buy a bunch of, especially berries and strawberries and bananas and mangoes and things like that. I go out, I buy it, buy a whole bunch of it, then I cut it up and then freeze it in my Ziploc bag so that on my day-to-day -day activity, if I'm running out the door, going to work, doing everything that I need to do, the fruits and vegetables, they're ready to go. And all I do is just take it out of freezer, eat it, I'm on the go. That saves me a lot of time too. Another thing that you can also do to incorporate more fruits, in, more vegetable in this part into your diet is 
if you're a type of person that likes kebab, like instead of making a kebab full of like beef and all that stuff and chicken, what you can do is maybe you can put like two pieces of um, chicken in there and then put a whole bunch of vegetables on the stick and then put it on the grill. That way you have tons of fruits and tons of vegetables on the stick and you have a little bit of beef. So that's another way to increase the amount of um, vegetables that you eat in your diet. Another thing that you can do to increase the amount of produce that you eat in your diet is because we spend a lot of time at work so why not bring your fruits and vegetables and eat it there right you know when you're going to work pack your lunch bag pack it full of vegetables and do not take any money with you leave your credit card at home leave your cash at home so that you're stuck with just eating those fruits and vegetables that you brought to work get into the habit of bringing your own food and that food should incorporate lots of fruits and vegetables another way to increase your fruits and veggies daily intake is just make sure you have it convenient available make sure you have it available i think having it available will leave you with no choice so just have it available in your fridge having the availability of your fruits and vegetables And make sure it's like a colorful um, fruits and vegetable assortment that's in your fridge. That way you have no excuse to not eat your fruits and vegetables. Make sure you have your tomatoes, your lettuce, your kale, your spinach, your apples, your oranges. Just have it all in your fridge looking all colorful like a rainbow. And that would actually look good to you. It'd be like, okay, let me pick an apple and eat it. Or let me cut up the spinach and eat it in my salad. You know, so that's an idea right there. Another thing that you can do to you know, increase the amount of the fruits and veggies that you eat in your diet is, is eating dried fruits. So if you have like dried raisins or dried pineapples or dried peaches or things like that, that can make you increase the amount of you know, produce that you eat in your diet. So that's the thought right there. So the, another thing that you can also do is getting into the habit of eating a new fruit or new vegetables every week. So let's say you're not used to eating asparagus. You know, when you go to the store this week, make sure you pick up a bag of asparagus and try it out. Make sure, you know, get into the habit of trying something new every week. And so slowly, as you get into the habit of trying new things every week, maybe um, three weeks later, you can try some two things new that week. And slowly, you're gonna get into the habit of being adventurous and trying new vegetables every week. And that way, you're getting more produce into your diet. Another way to get more you know, fruits and vegetables into your diet is maybe for breakfast, if you're, using, if you're used to eating oatmeal, you can eat an apple. Maybe you can add some fruit into your yogurt. Into the habit of eating for breakfast, you can eat a salad. There's nothing wrong with that. Or just eating a whole bunch of fruits. Like you can eat three oranges or three apples or three mangoes or three bananas. That way you're increasing the amount of you know fruits and vegetables you're eating in your diet. Another way, increase the amount of produce you eat in your diet is making a big batch of chili that's gonna have like, you know, different vegetables, maybe some beans in there, some rice, and add a whole bunch of vegetables and just let it, you know, cook in your crock pot. And so that way, you have lots of fruits and vegetables in the chili and it's very nutritious for you. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, thumbs up if you like this video and I can make more videos in regards to you know, everyday life and improving your health. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.